meaning master. We know that thou art a teacher. Come from God. That is itself is giving you the knowledge that the man knew God. Praise the name of the Lord. But he was of this, you know, exaltation that, hey, me, all the people over on this man of four people, dirty skin, vagabonds, thieves, robbers, wine, beavers, are you hearing me? Lay my heart and blind. Oh, my God, thank you, sister. Are you hearing me? And me with all this prayer, God, double with the No way. But Jesus said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> so, this man acknowledging that Jesus came from God. He said, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. So the man knew what he was talking about. Yes. And Mother Lila, yes. Mother Cora, the man knew what he was talking about. Yes. Because he would have had experiences of what Christ had been doing. Yes. 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 Jesus spoke to him now. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot, end, he cannot see. The kingdom of God. Hey, I told you when I was reading the scripture, consider two words, see and enter. <coughs> so here we have Jesus is saying to the man, if you are not baptized, number one, listen, if you are not baptized, you cannot see God's kingdom. There's a vast difference between seeing and entering. That's why I told you to look at those two words. So if you are not baptized in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, you cannot see. Are you getting me? You cannot see. The man got hot-headed. His mind started to dangle here and there because he wanted to know more. He said, how can a man be born when he is old? That is trying knowledge. Some days ago, I was talking to a sister. She has a baby girl, right? And the girl, the sister, um, um, Zon. When, those of us who know Zon's baby, we see how thick she is. So out of the abundance of wisdom, I said, Zon, suppose this child were to go back in your womb. Do you think you will be able to bring it as it is? Hey, Zon, Pastor Nelson, you want me dead? <laughs> this is Nicodemus. Wisdom builds a houseman. Nicodemus said, how can a man go back in his mother's womb and be born again when he's old? Look at me, my mother. Oh, for those of us who know the scientific part of the genital part of a woman. You see me look like me, somebody who come out of the mother's womb? What me good? That can't happen. God has to actually intervene for that happen. Let us be reasonable. But he, he did not, thank you, mother, he did not understand the concept. His mind was so blinded to material things, carnal things, that he could not have understood spiritual things. Because God, thank you, God was talking about the spiritual body. So, he went on. That can happen. Can, he, man, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man, now God, Jesus now start to give him the spiritual understanding. Except a man be born of water and the spirit, he cannot, eh, cannot what? He cannot enter. So you see the difference between seeing and entering? Yes. One is, if you're not baptized, you cannot see. 
And the other one is, if you are not baptized with water and with the Spirit, you cannot enter. <coughs> so here we have this understanding number one. And church, generally, there is a criteria that we have to follow. And that is, baptism, not in the carnal sense, because some of us go down the water and be baptized and go back just as we went down. And come back away to us. Because guess why? They see somebody in the church that they want. Stop it. Hello now. Let me tell you. They see somebody in the church they want. Eh? And they come in because they want that somebody. Are you hearing me now? Good. And as soon as they get that somebody, they forget that they've been inside here. They regret they ever came because they get what they want. But God does not walk. <laughs> Here what God does. God gives us or he leaves us up with the power to choose oh, yeah. this day whom he may serve. serve. Yes, amen. So if you choose to so come in here and look for somebody who you want, male or female, stop it now. And you get either male or female, whichever sex you're looking for. That's the end of your story. But that is another thing now, when you have to meet and face God. A different story. You see, when we are baptized by water and the spirit, we have become married to Jesus. So any break of the rule, you commit adultery unto God. Are you hearing me? That is the reason why I stopped doing what I was doing. You hearing me now? Now, <coughs> when we talk about baptism, now there are several, several, several types of baptisms. When Jesus was about to part this life, he told his disciples that you cannot bear the baptism that I'm about to be baptized in or into. In other words, the baptism that he was talking about was his death. You can't die the death that I'm going to die. When he spoke to Nicodemus, he was speaking a baptism that is done by water and with the spirit. So the baptism that he's talking about, according to Romans chapter, what am I saying? Can you remember that? He said, when you are baptized with water, you go down as unto his death. Hello? Good. I know this. Glory. I know. And when you come up out of the water, you rise as in his resurrection. You become a new creature. All things are to be passed away and everything become new. You become a new person. Now, before you can enter into that realm, there are some things that we have to do. One, we have to acknowledge that we are sinners. Yes. Oh, yes. Are, are you hearing me now? Yes. You have to confess those sins and become sorrowful of them. Yes. You have to accept that Jesus is the one and only source through whom we, for, or by whom, or in whom we can obtain forgiveness and salvation. Then you have to receive. You could accept what I receive now. I accept that I have to pay or I owe you fifty dollars. But if me not give you fifty dollars, you never receive me payment. Are you here? So we have to accept and then receive him. Then we have to turn away from the wickedness that we've been involved into. And last but not least. 
or second to last, the penultimate one, is that we must get baptized by water and the Spirit. And then, the last but not least, is to turn away and follow Christ. Turn away from the wrong and follow Christ. So here you are now, sister. Right now, you are in a state of repentance. Begging God to free you up from the wrongs that you might have done in your life. But the, 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 the ball game ain't finished there. You have to make sure that you can do the right stroke. Are you hearing me now? You have to know when you can set the ball at boundary six. Or boundary four. Or take a two run or one run. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. We have a responsibility to show you the path and how to play the game. But we can't make your place. Amen. That determination is in you and in every one of us here so that we can accept or receive the goodness of the Lord on the land of the living. I wonder if I'm teaching sense in anybody's head here. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, God is not like you and I. Hey, what he gonna do? He gonna leave you up to yourself. He, first of all, he points you the way, he shows you the way. And he tells you this is the, is the good way and that is the bad way. If you go this way, you are my disciple. If you go that way, you are the disciple of the devil. Praise the name of the Lord. He bids you to go this way, his way, because that's the right way. But he left you, and he left me, and he left all the world to follow which path he chooses. So if I'm married to you, darling, I'm, 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 oh, I got to be careful now. I got to be careful. I got to be one of the older folks. If I am married to you now, darling, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. And after marriage, I say, boy, three weeks is enough for me. That's not good. That's not marriage all about. Are you hearing me? So, 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 so when I turn away from you now, what have I done? I have my done. I've done myself one of these things in the world. Because the oath of allegiance that we took is until death do us do part. So when you get baptized into Christ, my darling, you have been married unto Christ. And when you are married unto Christ, it will give you no other alternative but to live the life that God wants you to live. Every one of us. Oh yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. So if Mother Leela decides now <coughs> to go and give you a little holiday, she in trouble. Are you hearing me? Mother Leela, watch me now, man. You know, you know things are. <laughs> If I choose to go and do wrong things against our will, against the vow that we took, I'm in trouble now. Yes. You see, there are three ways in which you can commit adultery. One, by the actual act of, of getting involved, sexually involved with a person who is already married. That's one. Are you hearing me now? Amen. Number two is when we lust against the other sex in our heart. Amen. And lusting there would mean that you, you have this urge to devour, to ravage, to really manipulate, to really abuse and misuse and I am not the type of thing. In your mind. The scripture says you would have committed adultery in your heart already. Yes. Are you hearing me, church? Yes. Am I preaching sense in your head? Oh, yes. Good. And then the third one is, if you marry to Jesus and commit sin, ah, tell me where you do. Commit adultery to the Lord. And according to the word of God, anytime you see me commit adultery, we would have left and... Uh, Mother, Mother Lila, what was the word that I couldn't find? No. No. 
there, there, there was this word that I couldn't find. My, my, my okay, come, I'll bring it back to you. I'm in Delhi, Okay, that was the word I was going to You see, sometimes I have to stress your, 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 your thinking. Huh? You would have left an indelible mark on your soul. Indelible means that it can hardly be erased. Praise the name of the Lord. God. And only God who can remove that. Oh, yes. And trust me, I am fearful somewhat because I come into the ground too. You know what I mean? So why should I not be wise enough to tell you that I lived that life? But I got through the love of God, His saving grace, Thank God for Jesus. who has caused me to flee from that demon that was possessing my soul and turn to him. Amen. Tell me who could get me to go back there. Hmm. I give God the praise and the Amen. So my darling, I want to leave us a two things for you. My darling, do not be afraid of the Lord, because if you are afraid to own him before your brothers and sisters, your friends, your whoever, God says that he will be ashamed to own you before his father who is in heaven. In heaven. And God don't want to be ashamed to do that. Because right now, Jesus is at his father's right and if we believe the word of God, making intercessions for you and for me and for all of us. No matter how awful our sin, our wrongdoings might be, he is there begging his father to have mercy, to be inclement, to be, to be clement with us. And church, listen to me. This might be the only church that preaches this way. Telling you the things as they are. We don't want to. We don't want to, we don't, thank good word, we don't want to dilute it, nor do we want to remove anything from or add anything to what the word of God says. Amen. And we here are trying our best to live the life that God wants us to live. So that the world would see us and say, with a nodding head, yes, these people are living up to the works of the Lord. That is what my wish is. I am trying my best. I will tell the church that I am not all perfect, but I am trying my utmost best to do the best I can to live the life that God wants me to live. And my life as a pastor and the head of the church here right now has to be of such that you will be happy to emulate, to, to, to pattern. And once you pattern a good life, Nothing wrong could happen to you. So if the head of the church, I, 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 I'll give you this little thing. The scripture says that a little leaven leaven the whole lot. So one man you head, spoil the whole flock. One man you sheep, spoil the whole flock. Are you hearing me? So one man pastor damage the whole church. Are you hearing me? If pastor could do that, me could do that too. That's what I'm running from. Because I don't want my darling baby sweet for the bunch here come and point the finger at me and say, Are you make me go do that? <laughs> Jeremiah said 23 1. Woe be to you, prophet! Stop it. Woe be to you, pastors! Are you shepherds? That lead my flock astray. <coughs> hey. So when I laugh with my little young folks now, and you gone, I tell them the good thing, you know, and you gone a story by my name. Trouble for you now because the scripture says, war, war, offenses will come, but war will yeah. know who caused the offense. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm your top rank. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Am I ministering the word of God here? Yes. So I hear something. If I cannot, under any circumstance, be good to my darling young folk, what am I here for? Amen. If I can't live nice to the old folk, what am I here for? What am I, what's my service here? What is my purpose? 
And the principal, and that is what I don't want to do. Period. I have passed that state many, many, many moons ago. Hey, I have no intention, brethren, to turn back. Say what you like. Me not turning back. Caribbean people say, back at death. Jesus said, he who puts his hand to the gospel flow and take it back is not fit. God's kingdom. So I want to be in God's kingdom. My job here is to, 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 to quote you for the kingdom of God. And if I fail in doing that, I will be failing God. So number one, my responsibility is to you, my respon responsibility to you is to tell you to be of good courage. You made the choice. You have to live the choice you made. And the choice is to serve God to the end. That's what you have to do. If we wait on the Lord, the scripture says, he will renew our strength. He said, son, Sorry. Sons and daughters, give me thine heart. And I will give you a kingdom. If you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean it not onto your own understanding, my church is teaching me. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. And here's something David was so smart. Despite all the wicked things that he did, he said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Jah is my keeper. Are you hearing me, church? Despite all the wicked things that he did, he said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I bear? Hallelujah. He did not mean it. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. He said, when the wicked, even my enemies, even my foes, come upon me, there is something. Hallelujah. 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 So we have a strong defense. Oh yes. We have a mighty fortress. He is our strong deliverer and he will make our paths clear for us. If we trust in the Lord, he will make our enemies to become our footstool. He will scatter them to and fro. Hear what somebody said. When Satan sees you, you should run here. Yeah? Yes. Sees you serving the Lord. He will make your enemies to flee from you seven ways. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, number one, keep sweet in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just trust in him. Just open up to him and tell him, God, hey now, watch it. Four days ago, me commit adultery. Me commit fornication. Me tell one lie. Me thief. Me do this, me do that, me do the next. Tell him! I'm telling him you're sorry and really mean you're sorry. <coughs> Don't hide anything from him. Tell him exactly how you stand with him. And he is this merciful father who say, so if you come unto me, I will in no wise. Hallelujah. He said, last 